We are at the hotel today. Nora, Ethan, Corey, and I are going to Florida. So we're leaving this morning, getting on the airplane, and we are only bringing one backpack per person, so we're not packing a whole lot. <laughs> what happened, Nora? Um, I was looking through this because I felt like, I've seen videos on where people leave money in the Bible, and I looked through here and I felt like a little dibbit. So I went to that page, and there was, when I opened it up, there was just a dollar sitting right there. So now I have a dollar. This is, this teacher gives us a lot of work. I'm packing some schoolwork for the plane ride. And if we're like out late at the hotel. And I'm bringing clothes, obviously. And a phone charger, a sketchbook, some pencils. Did you end up bringing your blanket or no? Yes. You packed a whole blanket in your backpack? Yeah. Ethan, what did you pack in your backpack? Um, just a ton of clothes and like goggles and my chargers. That's about it. What? I forgot my money in the other backpack. Oh no, you don't have any money. I have a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> what did you pack in your backpack? Really too much. <laughs> What did your friend say? Um, last time me and Jason, which is one of the only boys in our friend group, opened a Bible from a hotel. We were followed by spirits of young children the rest of the night. And then Jason said that was the best time being followed by ghosts. <laughs> so you're going to be followed by a ghost because yeah. you took the dollar out of the Bible? Yeah. Jeez, Nora. We had breakfast at the hotel, and let me just say this hotel had a great breakfast. We took a shuttle then from the hotel to the airport for Nora and Ethan's first flight ever. Here we go. Thank you for the ride. Yeah. No. We didn't tell the school they were gonna be gone. That's not my job. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody told the school. She did say that. I didn't hear that. What did you get? Something blonde. Uh... Ooh, this is good. I was gonna make a joke about how you like blondes. <laughs> Ethan does not look happy. You have to smile. And you're on the woman's side. <laughs> is that chicken? A chicken. Like a chicken in that cage. Oh my gosh, it does. I think there is a chicken in that cage. It's a big. Somebody's traveling with a chicken. What are you doing with your dollar? We actually met an artist who was the creator of this new art exhibit at the airport. Corey said he wanted to buy a car when he came to Florida. I think we found one. We didn't have to go very far. <laughs> <laughs> we made it to Florida. Now we are walking to find a place to eat. And then after we eat, we're gonna probably get a lift or something to our hotel, but we just walked from the airport. How do you how do you feel about being in Florida? Awesome. Just grateful to be on the ground again. Yeah. <laughs> Warm out, you wish that there was snow, but then when there's snow out, you wish that it was warm. <laughs> What's the news we got? Corey? What's up? What news did we get? Uh, fishing trip is canceled. We're supposed to go deep sea fishing tomorrow. 30 mile an hour winds, 5 foot seas, small craft advisory, and uh, rain Saturday. <laughs> so, and we leave first thing Sunday. No fishing. So, we'll find other things to do. We'll have to try again. How's yours? Real good. <laughs>
the geckos are. It was dark by the time we got to our hotel, but we did decide to go across the street and check out the beach. We were only there for a short while, and then we came back and the kids wanted to swim in the pool. How's the water? It's actually really warm. Like, I think it's warmer than the air. It's kind of chilly, yeah, it's actually. Unbelievable. Yeah. The wind coming off the ocean, it's a little bit chilly. Ready, it's morning time. It's so nice to wake up by the beach. I'm being quiet because it's early and I'm gonna go for a run, but not everybody's awake. Are you ready for the beach? We got this. <laughs> <laughs> This is actually Nora and Ethan's first time seeing the ocean in person and I can't imagine a better way to spend a day than experiencing the ocean through their eyes for the first time ever. It's warm and it was sunny and it was exactly what I imagined when we planned this trip. Corey even joined in for a while and did some swimming with us once he got acclimated to the water. I feel like seaweed. You feel like seaweed just being pushed around in the waves? Going around. So talented. Jump again. <laughs> I mean, swimming, you have to go like down here and wah! 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 Big wave. Ready, everybody? Yes! <laughs> it's a flight of view from my height. Yeah. I know how it is to be me. Short. <laughs> hey, you don't even like being cold. Like the salt 
That one might be the peanut butter jelly. Nora just suspiciously walked me out of this gift shop. So I can tell she's up to something. No. Or Corey's up to something. Mm -mm. He's still in there. Nope. She's lying. She doesn't know she's You're really going to not so. tell me what's going on? There's nothing going on. <laughs> we walked out and By she's way, like, that was a nice beach today. <laughs> <laughs> We're at a restaurant, uh, what's it called? Fish something? Crab and fin. We, we came to the door and the greeter saw us and apparently thought we didn't fit in here. It's kind of fancy and we're like dressed in t-shirts and flip-flops and stuff. So they put us in the corner in like a room with nobody else. We're not mad about it though. <laughs> We get it. We get it. What did you order, Corey? Pub style fish sandwich and chips. I got some shrimp because I'm not really that hungry, but I'm hungry. I ordered some foie gras, which these guys haven't had before, so we'll see if they like it. Do they feel handmade? Um, yes. They feel like they hug my feet, like a warm, fuzzy blanket. Do they feel like that's what you need? Big upgrade from your uh, cheap sandals? See what Jody is doing to me. Making you buy quality over quantity? Buy the nice stuff so your feet feel good. Well, I'll buy it once so you don't have to have an emergency on when vacation. You're on vacation. <laughs> Where are we walking to, Nora? To the kayak Texas mangrove thingy. Yes, we're going kayaking in the mangroves. Mangroves? Mangroves? I think it's mangroves. We just had lunch, so it feels nice to walk. Ethan, come over here. Look at this. Your alligator. <laughs> Dad, it is so easy to catch a fish here. I mean, other than the power lines that are two feet away from it, but like. <laughs> oh, there's a fish. Oh, watch that. Yeah, look at them. Hey, it's mackerel. Big one? Dad, those are mackerel, and then those over there are sheep's head. What are they? Um, the striped ones right there are sheep's head, and those are mackerel. That was a clownfish. What? You caught one! Are you gonna let it go? Oh, oh small, he's yeah. scared. And he's gone. Dog out by Army Corps of Engineers in the 1950s. And they're pretty unique to this area. And then you paddle through there and there's no breeze. We are off on our kayaking adventure. We have to find the tunnels. He kind of explained really quickly where to go and where not to go. But it happened really fast, so I don't really know where we're supposed to go. Hopefully Cory does. I gave Cory the map and I don't think he really was listening either. But it's a really windy day today, but where we're at, it's not at all. It's nice and calm, so it's perfect.
Oh, there's a fish jumped over. Look at the fish jumping. Did you see him? Look at him. I don't know what those were. We paddled by a tour that was going on. We're not doing a tour. We just wanted to kind of go out and do our own thing on our own, which has been fun so far. Hopefully we don't get lost. But the tour guide I was listening as we were paddling by said that the world, I don't know if it's the world or Florida or what, but he said there's only 35% of the mangroves left than what we used to have compared to what we used to have um, even like not that long ago. Mangroves here in this park, this is a state park or a county park, um, there, there was like a fight between a local big business and um, like people in the community about whether they should develop this and like fill it in and turn it into a place for people to come um, and stay at like a high-end hotel resort thing and the community won and the business didn't develop this mangrove so because of that we're able to actually enjoy it which is something I guess I'm really thankful for. Wow, this is beautiful, you guys. It's kind of nice that we're off kind of by ourselves. You can't really see other people around us. Ah, wow, this is sandy here. The ground is sandy. It's a lot more wide and open. So far we've seen starfish, jellyfish, mackerel, fish that jump out of the water, crabs, little tiny fishies, Not so many birds. I thought there would be more birds in here. The Ted Sperling Nature Park. So this place is called the Ted Sperling Nature Park and these are the mangrove tunnel trails. We just did all of them, one through four. It didn't take us very long. There's another one. Oh, I don't want to scare it. and caught the tiniest crab ever. I just walk and I'm like, oh, there's a spider. Wait, why is it running sideways? <laughs> That's pretty cool. That is itty bitty. Great kayaking on a scale of one to 10, 10 being awesome. Kayaking on this trip? Yeah. 100 out of 10. <laughs> 100 out of 10. I seen a jellyfish, it looks like a flower. I went to go touch it, but then I realized it's a jellyfish. <laughs> Tell me about your favorite tree you've seen on this trip. <laughs> Why do you like it? <laughs> sunburn. <laughs> you can see exactly <laughs> where the sunscreen was and the handprint of the person who put it on. And Nora. That was Nora's hand. <laughs> okay, How does it yeah, feel? It How does it feel? Uh, it don't really hurt. 
Um, <laughs> but last time I trust her with putting lotion on me. <laughs> oh yeah, he's probably scared. How'd you catch him? <laughs> I was, was just like, walking and he was like right there just scurrying along. Jump on the ground. Yeah, we were just walking along the beach and <laughs> Ethan's talking to us, stops mid-sentence, he's gone. <laughs> and he comes back <laughs> somehow with this and he has no light. <laughs> magic. Alright, let him go. Yeah, he's probably scared. Okay, bye! Look how fast he's going. Don't go in the water with my shoes. I know. How do you feel about your walk at the beach? I'm all full of sand. Dang, cry about it. Alright, how do you feel about um, being at the beach? Um, I don't Oh, the yeah. whole time. He's extremely loud. Yeah. And so I heard him too. <laughs> he's, just He's just running around the beach and yelling <laughs> he's and talking. Really, he's he's like screaming this. his head off. <laughs> I think he might have been out a little. Mm. Good morning. Oh, today's our last full day. It's a pretty short trip. I'm going to go for another jog on the beach to get my energy up. I always feel like I have so much more energy after I run and I want to have a lot of energy because we'll probably do a lot of stuff today. I just woke up. You can tell my eyes are still puffy from sleep. We noticed these seagulls taking an exercise lesson from this man and thought you'd want to see. So we came to this waffle place and we just got food for ourselves and not for the kids. So we're pretty excited about eating our waffles. We have forks and she does not. Exactly. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's me that doesn't get to eat. Alright, I got the one with hot sauce. Strawberry has a good guess up there. One more Yummy. Nora, have you been to an aquarium before? Um, yeah. Yeah? But not here. I would recommend going to this aquarium if you're in the area. It really was nice. I haven't been to an aquarium that had indoor and outdoor exhibits previously. At least not that I can think of. But we got to see a lot of the animals get fed. We were lucky. We went around lunchtime, which apparently is lunchtime for the critters too. I saw this seahorse just floating around the tank. Usually the seahorses you see are just stuck to a plant or something, but this one was swimming around. They just had a lot of creatures and they talked about the ones that were invasive as well as the ones that are naturally here. I just always enjoy aquariums and all of the different species and it's just a learning experience as well as fun. So we really liked it. We had a good time. And then we went to eat at the Salty Dog. We tried to get a lift back to our hotel, but none showed up, so we had to walk, and we were really exhausted. We took a moment to sit here in this spot, and it was special. Water feels warmer. That night we went yeah, to the beach one last time and enjoyed the water. In the morning, we had some coffee and actually did get an Uber to the airport. It was a lovely trip, and it's one we will never forget.